Uh, I did the Fearless workshop about a year ago, and my biggest aha came with the palms up, palms down exercise. Close your eyes, put your palms up, palms down, palms together. So I did that with severe attitude. And I did that because as soon as he said that this was gonna be about palms, he lost me because I clearly don't have two. Yes. And so I had an attitude about that. But I did the exercise and I did it with extreme attitude. And the entire time as we're supposed to be enjoying our journey, I was doing palms up, palms down, palms together, and I was mad, I was really mad. And it wasn't until a few days later when I was telling my mother about it, that I realized my big aha moment came. Okay, because what was going through my head the entire exercise is I'm supposed to be having fun was I shouldn't have to do this. I don't have two palms. Why am I doing this? Why is he making me do this? Oh my gosh, this is so humiliating. I'm sure I look absolutely ridiculous. Really, I was in a room with all my closest friends, so I knew they weren't judging me, not to mention they had their eyes closed, but that didn't matter. Okay, it didn't matter to me because I thought I looked ridiculous and I shouldn't have to do it. As I was sitting over lunch with my parents and they were asking me about this workshop I had been to, I said, you know, it was really great, but I want to tell you about this one exercise that we did because it really irritated me. And so I told them the whole palms up, palms down story and why we did it and what we did and what was going through my head. But as soon as the words came out of my mouth of what was going through my head, I kind of dropped my fork because they didn't say anything, but they honestly did raise me to, you can do anything you want to do, okay? I was raised with a lot of belief. And so as I was telling them what I was thinking, I said, I wonder how many times that happens to me on a daily basis and it stops me from doing what I'm supposed to do, like talking to somebody or, you know, making phone calls or whatever. And it was then that I realized I really need to be more conscious of how I walk, how I talk, and I need to act more confident because clearly I don't, I don't think I do that. And so I really did start right then, okay? But I didn't do the coaching because I thought, I learned everything from that one session. I really did. No, I was kind of cocky about it. Like, I literally emailed Brandon like a week later. What happened was when I took the assessment, I heard he was coming back and I've had some ups and downs. I mean, I achieved some great things, I think, because of that, because of that realization. But when I heard he was coming back and I did the assessment test, guess what? I had the same issues in the same places. So I realized that I might want to want to learn some more because I think I got that great lesson. But I think then I forgot what else I learned throughout the day. So even though this was kind of the same class, I learned a whole lot more the second time. Honestly, I've learned things about myself that I didn't even know were holding me back. I thought it was one little thing I was having an issue with, and if I could just fix this one little thing, then like I thought that was my one little thing I had to fix. But I realize there's still a lot of noise in my head. There's still a lot of things that I have to change, That and it's also a process. I'm very impatient, and I'm looking for that quick, let's get it fixed right now today and that's not gonna happen. It's a process and um, you have to embrace the process. Oh, and enjoy the journey, because that was the whole thing with the palms up, palms down, that I thought I learned and clearly, yeah, I learned a little bit, but not as well as I should have. Like, the one thing I wanna work on is loving myself unconditionally. I thought I did and I didn't. You know, like I said, clearly when you see where you have the challenges in certain areas, it was the, the be, do, have. First it was, you know, if I could have this, then I could be this, however that went. Sorry, Brandon, I can't remember. Um, but it was, you had to reverse it. And, and that, I think, is that's a big, a big thing that I need to work on, is to love myself first, not based on my success. Because we all think that if we do this and we have this, then we're going to feel great, right? But really, you have to love yourself. If you love yourself, then it's not work. It's, you're always going to be growing. Sometimes it's going to hurt and that's okay, but the end result is going to be fulfillment within yourself and isn't that, that's what we're all looking for, I think. I know that's what I'm looking for is fulfillment in myself and not just my business but all areas of my life. I'm looking forward to learning the tools that will help me in my everyday life and will help me overcome the obstacles that I clearly still have.